Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the value of the missing variables and also the value of the size of each of the angle given using the geometry of angle rules. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In the first example, I have a triangle given with angles G, 2G and 3G. I'm going to tag the triangle as ABC, such that the angle at A plus the angle at B plus the angle at C is equal to 180 degrees, the reason being the sum of angle in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. AG plus B, that's 2G, plus C, 3G, equals to 180 degrees. There's an invisible one in front of my G here, such that 1G plus 2G plus 3G will give us 6G equals to 180 degrees. Dividing both sides by 6 to get the value of G, I have G equals to 180 divided by 6. That's 30 degrees. Therefore, if the value of G is 30, angle A will be g which is equal to 30 degrees angle b is 2g which is equal to 2 times 30 degrees that will give us 60 degrees and the angle at c equals to 3g which is 3 times 30 degrees and that will give us 90 degrees let's look at the next example and the second example I have the triangle given with angles 50 degrees, X, and the last angle not given. I will start like I did in the previous example by tagging the side, the angle ABC. Note that the angle B is also equal to the angle at C, and that is equal to X. The reason being, that's an isosceles triangle. And the properties of an isosceles triangle states that the base angle are equal, so therefore the angle at C is also equal to X. Therefore, the sum of angles in the triangle add up to 180, so I have angles A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180 degrees. That's the sum of angle in a triangle ABC, angle A 50 degrees plus angle B, that's X, plus angle C, X, equals 180 degrees. 50 degrees plus X plus X, 2X is 180, therefore 2X equals 180 degrees minus 50 degrees. 2X will be equal to 130 degrees. I'm going to continue here. So if I have 2X equals 130 degrees to find x i'm going to divide both sides by two i have two in two one therefore the value of x equals to 65 degrees so therefore angle b is equal to x which is equal to 65 degrees let's look at the last example in my last example i have the triangle given with angle x I have angles, external angles, 122 degrees on both sides. If I start by tagging all the angles, A, B, and C. For the angle at C, to find the internal angle, I have angle at C, total angle is equal to 180 degrees. And the reason being, angles on a straight line, the sum of angles on a straight line, add up to 180 degrees. So I have angle C prime, I'm going to call the one inside C prime, plus 122 degrees. Or to write it properly, I have angle ACB, ACB, plus 122 degrees. The angle I'm working with is the straight line as given. So I have ACB plus 122 degrees equals to 
180 degrees it's a straight line therefore angle ACB is equal to 180 degrees minus 122 degrees I'm taking 122 to the other side and if I punch that in I have angle ACB to be equal to 58 degrees therefore to find the value of X I have angle 122 degrees is equal to angle X plus angle 58 degrees and the reason with the external angle of a triangle or external angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angle so what I mean is the angle at B as shown which is external is equal to the sum of the angle at A and the angle at C as I like it so I have 122 minus 58 minus 58 degrees will give us the value of X therefore X equals 64 degrees the other method is to find the angles on a straight line like I did for C this is a straight line as shown so therefore the angle at B here will be also be 58 degrees I got that from 180 minus 122 degrees will cost to 58 so therefore X plus 58 plus 58 degree is equal to 180 that's sum of angles on a straight line and therefore I have X equals 180 degrees minus I have 58 plus 58 116 degrees so therefore X is equal to 64 degrees so I can use external angle and I can also use the sum of angles in a triangle thanks for watching bye